I just found new inspiration and a new life goal. Now you know in the Coney Island video, I made fun of my friends for talking about planes and shit. This is the first time I've ever seen an A380 Airbus in my life. And that's all I want to do now, is get on one of those. Before this trip, I'd never been on a plane with um, like three rows of seats. And I want to go up to a two floor flying cruise ship. That's my next goal. So you heard it here folks, we're gonna make it happen. What's up guys? Now out in the park in Kyiv. I was just thinking about when this video is coming out. Tuesday the 9th, it's two anniversaries because I left the US on my four month anniversary of, uh, of getting sober. Two months into this, which means I'm six months into sobriety. And it's really kind of like the self evaluation and the self care. It hasn't been white knuckling through wanting a beer every night, but it's been kind of about manifesting something new and the power of will, the power of coincidence, power of luck and, and work and maybe a little bit of talent. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm talented after making 20 videos. Two months on the road and six months since I quit drinking. And an interesting thing has happened. Uh, the reason that I'm in Kyiv, I decided to get out of Ireland early and get to Barcelona. And you guys voted for me to go to Ibiza. So the only reason I'm in Ibiza is because of you guys. I was in the Ireland airport. I met Morgan who invited me to come meet her over in Munich and then Prague. While I was on the plane to Munich, the guy next to me notices me editing. He was like napping next to me. We get to talking. He asks me if I'm interested in coming and traveling with him one week a month or whatever and filming it and putting out videos for him. And in exchange for that, he would invest in my camera gear. And so we went and we had dinner. We talked about it a little bit. It was like a marathon happening. This is crazy. I think it might be a decathlon. I don't really know though. Where was I? He agreed that I would come out to Kyiv and meet him here. He's here with his girlfriend for a week or so. Uh, and that's why I'm in Kyiv, Ukraine right now. For, for two months. I've, I've, I've worked really hard, but I've done this for two months. But he wants me. He, 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 likes, he likes my style. He likes what I'm doing. He sees uh, potential, which is, uh, which is weird um, and scary. I'm going to be traveling to much cooler places now, but he's my age, but um, successful. <laughs> and uh, he's a very smart and motivated guy. We've clicked. So I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. I'm going to keep up the vlog. I'm going to keep traveling, taking requests, all that stuff. But then also I'm going to be going on a little more extravagant travels and I'm going to be doing little vlogs for him, filming his travels, putting out videos for him. It's weird. He's a really big history guy. He like knows everything about history. He's kind of a genius. This is almost like kind of a, a, a patronage of sorts, if you will, or a, I don't even know how to say that. Patron artist that will drastically improve my videos. That's all happening in the next week or so. I'm gonna be going to Krakow, Poland, and then I'll be meeting up with him in Bulgaria. Um, he has a lot of camera equipment that he bought for himself to try out and he never really used, so he's, he's, he's gifting it to me. Six months ago, I wouldn't have, you would, <laughs> This isn't, this wasn't in my wheelhouse of things that I thought were humanly possible. Every time I've broken down a, a limitation or a barrier that I set up, it's, there's nothing but rewards behind it. Yeah, thanks you guys for, uh, 
being along on this journey. It's getting more and more interesting. And uh, this will mark the 15th episode, my second month out on the road, and my sixth month sobriety. So, pretty cool. I don't know, I'm happy about it. <laughs> All right, see ya.